we are going to solve one numerical answer type question in this lecture and the question is taken from gate 2014 electronics and communication paper and according to the question we need to consider a discrete time signal xn which is equal to n when n is less than equal to 10 and greater than equal to 0 and xn is equal to 0 for all the other values of n. Now if yn is the convolution of xn with itself then find the value of y4. This is the question and you can see that the question is pretty straightforward. We simply need to convolve xn with xn to get yn and once we have yn we will put n equal to 4 to get y4. So we will get signal yn after convolving signal xn with itself and we know this is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity signal xk multiplied to signal xn minus k. So initially we are having signal xn and signal xn and to get signal xk and xn minus k we first need to replace variable n by a dummy variable k and this will give us signal xk this one is converted to xk and signal xk this one is converted to xk now we will leave alone this xk and we will perform the time reversal operation on this xk and we will have a new signal x minus k after this we will perform another time operation known as time shifting by n and therefore we will have x n minus k. Now you can see that we have x k and we have x n minus k. Now to obtain signal y n we will first multiply signal x k and signal x n minus k and then we will perform the summation from k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. So first we will focus on the result of multiplication for different values of n and for this we should have the sequence of signal xk and the sequence of signal xn minus k. From this definition, from the definition of xn we can say that signal xk is equal to k when the variable k is less than equal to 10 and greater than equal to 0. Now xk is equal to 0 for all the other values of k which are not included in this range. So this is how we can define signal xk and you will have this definition when you simply replace n by k everywhere in this definition. Now using this definition we can have the sequence of signal xk and this is how the sequence will look. This is the sequence of signal xk. You can see that signal xk is equal to 0 when k is equal to 0. From here you can see that when k is equal to 0 xk is equal to k and as k is equal to 0 here we will have 0. Similarly xk is equal to 1 when k is equal to 1 it is 2 when k is 2 it is 3 when k is 3. Similarly we will follow the same process up to k equal to 10 and after k equal to 10 this means 11 and the higher values of k we are going to get xk equal to 0. Now to obtain the sequence of signal x n minus k perform the time reversal operation on this sequence and then perform the time shifting operation by n you will have something like this. So this is the sequence of 
xn minus k and this integer here is equal to n and now we will multiply the two sequences and it is clear that when n is less than 1 we are going to get 0 for all the values of k therefore we will make n greater than 1 and therefore our signal yn will be equal to summation k equal to 1 to n and we are assuming that n is less than 10 and we know signal xk is going to be k from 1 to n and signal xn minus k is going to be n minus k and we are required to find y4 this means n is equal to 4 so in the next step we will replace n by 4 this will give us summation k equal to 1 to 4 k multiplied to 4 minus k now let's put k equal to 1 we will have 1 multiplied to 4 minus 1 this means 3 plus when k is equal to 2 we will have 2 multiplied to 4 minus 2 this means 4 plus when k is equal to 3 we will have 3 multiplied to 4 minus 3 this means 3 and when k is equal to 4 we will have 4 multiplied to 4 minus 4 4 minus 4 is 0 therefore we will get 0 now add them and you will get y4 equal to 10 so this is our answer this is the answer and as we already had discussion on discrete time convolution all these points are not difficult to understand so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one